What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I am back with another nail art compilation. Today I am partnering up with Sinful Colors to show you guys five summer nail art designs that I think are pretty easy, pretty low effort, you don't need to have much artistic skill, but they all look super awesome on the nails. So let me show them to you. So for the first design, I am using the Sinful Colors base coat as well as the Sinful Mattes in Dragonfly and White Lies. I am also going to be using the Sinful Matte Top Coat and a a small dotting tool. So as with all of my manicures, I am just starting off with my clean natural nail and I'm applying my base coat. And then once that is dry, I'm going to go in with a couple of coats of Dragonfly. This color is actually super opaque. It is nearly a one coater on me, but I did end up just throwing on a second coat just so that the manicure was nice and thick for my nail art. So now I'm just going to take white lies. I'm going to dab that out onto a piece of scrap paper and take my small dotting tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating these tiny Tiny little polka dots all around the edge of my nail. So I always like to start at the free edge, that square bottom part, but of course your nails don't have to be square for this. You can have any shape and just frame the natural shape of your nail, just following the edge of where the nail polish ends and where your skin begins. And then you have this really cute little framed nail art. I've been really obsessed with framing lately. I think it's such a fun nail art idea. It doesn't have to be perfect and I feel like it always looks good, which is so fun. I'm just going to finish off with some matte top coat and then that is the full design for whatever reason maybe it's the colors or maybe it's just the pattern but this is giving me such strong like picnic vibes makes me really want to go out and have a picnic and have my nails look like this it's so cute I feel like this would also look really good with a blue base and white dots but really any color would work so on to design number two using my base coat again as well as sinful mattes in white lies I'm going to be using dragonfly again because it's so pretty and I'm also going to be using state mint as well as the Sinful Mattes top coat and a tiny little nail art brush. So once again, I am just starting off with that clean natural nail and I'm going to be applying my base coat. And then once that's dry, I'm going to go in with a couple of coats of the white polish, which I think makes a great base for nail art. It's a really nice stark color. So any color that you paint over it is going to show up really beautiful and vibrant. So once again, I'm just going to use that same piece of scrap paper and I'm just going to dab out some of that color Dragonfly and pick it up with my little nail art brush and what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually creating these tiny little triangles on my nail and these are actually going to be little watermelons. So with nail art like this I know it's always really daunting to do freehand stuff especially when you are drawing a particular shape over and over again because it feels like you have to make them all look exactly the same but the beauty of this type of manicure is once you have them all on all of your nails it really doesn't have to be perfect or completely uniform. If you look at watermelon slices they are not all the same size so you really don't have to stress out about that it's just the way that the effect looks once you have it on all of your nails and it's just really fun so I encourage you to give this one a try even if it seems a little bit harder than you might be used to with nail art because I promise you it is totally easier than it looks and even though mine are so far from perfect once you get the full design on all the nails it just looks super cool and fun so now I'm just taking state mint same nail art brush I just cleaned it off with a little bit of acetone and I'm creating the little rind for each watermelon. I don't know why, but I am obsessed with these two colors together, this red and this really beautiful mint shade. I feel like they look so beautiful in contrast with each other, especially with white. So I really wanted to use these as the watermelon colors, even though of course the watermelon is not technically mint. I just think this pattern looks so much cuter with these colors together. So of course you can choose whatever color you want, but I just really love this minty red combo. And once again, I am just going to be applying my top coat and because this is matte nail polish it really doesn't bleed the way that regular nail polish bleeds once you put on top coat so that makes the design so much easier to use I really love using matte nail polishes for nail art because of that reason so yeah like I said this is the full design and I think it's just so fun I feel like this is a pattern that I would love to see on some like Bermuda shorts because it's so cute and summery I don't know I really love it all right on to the next design I am using the sinful mattes in dragonfly I'm also using the shade Coral Craze, which is not part of the core line, but it's still a really gorgeous matte. Yellow Yellow, which is actually one of their shiny nail polishes, but I am going to mattify it. State Mint, Blew Me Away, Perplexed, and the matte top coat. We're just going to skip base coat today. I'm also going to be using the tiny nail art brush that I've been using, as well as a little bit of striping tape. You can use regular tape as well. So like I said, we're just skipping the base coat, and we're just going to directly apply the striping tape onto my nail. I'm kind of just following 
doing the natural smile line where the white part of my nail starts. And basically I'm just gonna create a tiny little rainbow across the free edge of my nail. So my idea for this design was kind of just to take my natural nail and the white part of the nail and instead of have it be white, I wanted it to be a fun little rainbow. And I think all of these colors look really beautiful together. And like I said, I really love using matte nail polish for nail art because it doesn't bleed and it's just so much easier to apply and work with. So just going along with the rainbow and I'm dipping my brush in acetone in between each color. And then I just peel off the tape and apply my matte top coat. I'm applying it across my whole nail just to make that manicure last a little bit longer and just to even everything out onto one layer. But that is the full look. It's a little bit tedious just because you have to keep on cleaning off your brush and changing colors. But I love the way that this looks. It's like so subtle, but also so bright and rainbowy. It's almost like I wish my natural nails looked like this. Like if my natural nails, instead of having white free edge, had rainbow free edge, I think I would be the happiest girl in the world. <laughs> All right, next let's do some no tools nail art. I'm gonna be using my base coat, the Sinful Mattes in State Mint, White Lies, and I'm also gonna be using Blue Me Away, as well as the Sinful Mattes top coat. So once more, I am just going to start off with my clean natural nail and I'm applying my base coat. And then for this, I am going to be using the State Mint color as my base color for the design. So I am just gonna go in with a couple of coats of this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create this almost like grungy, no tools gradient. And I decided to do it horizontally across my nails because I haven't done something like that in a really long time. So I'm just gonna start off with the white and I'm going to take the bottle brush and I'm gonna wipe off as much of that white polish as possible and then I'm going to take the side of my nail and I'm gonna start gently swiping the tiny amount that is left on the brush across my nail and I'm gonna stop at the halfway point because we're gonna be working with another color on the other side here every once in a while I'm gonna dip it back into the bottle and I'm gonna wipe off the majority of it but I'm just gonna keep on applying it and you can see it's almost got this like grungy painted distressed quality to it. I think this is such a cool look. I love using this technique for nail art because it doesn't require any tools or any freehand skill. It's so easy to do and each nail ends up looking different but it overall has such a cool effect. So once again I'm going to do that but this time I'm going to do the blue and I'm going to do it on the other side. I picked these colors because I thought they kind of blended pretty seamlessly into each other. So when you're looking at the nail from far away my idea was for it to look like a gradient going from blue into white on your nail. I think I pretty much achieved that and I was really impressed with how it turned out. But yeah, as you can see, I am making such a mess on my skin, but don't worry, we are gonna clean that up. I just wanna really focus on making sure that the nail looks good. And then once I am satisfied with that, I'm gonna take acetone and a little tiny brush and I'm just going to wipe off any excess that got around my skin. You can always protect your skin with a little bit of scotch tape or if you wanna use liquid latex, that works as well. Just because there's not too much, I'm just gonna clean that up really easily. And then I'm just gonna smooth everything out with a nice thick coat of the matte top coat. You can kind of see right now how it looks as a gradient. It's sort of there, but once you see all of the nails together, you can really see that kind of gradient effect where it goes from dark to light across the nail. So I love how this turned out. I think it's such a cool technique and I really love doing it. I especially love No Tools Nail Art. And this is one that I haven't done in a really long time so I was excited to do it again. And last but not least we're gonna get into some negative space color blocking nail art. So I'm gonna skip the base coat again and I'm gonna use Blue Me Away as well as the Sinful Mattes top coat and a little bit of striping tape. Again you can use scotch tape for this as well. So I'm just going to apply the tape directly onto my nail. I like to apply it to all my nails before I start painting on just so that it's even across all of my nails. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that shade Blue Me Away and I'm going to paint down the lower half of my nail with that. Now, because this is over my naked nail, I do wanna make sure that I am getting enough coverage. So I am going to throw on a second coat. I'm giving it like two minutes to dry and then throwing on a second coat. And then while that second coat is wet, I am actually gonna peel off the tape. So one thing that I actually was originally gonna do with this manicure was add some polka dots on the blue side, but I ended up loving this so much the way that it looked that I just ended up applying my matte top coat and then just 
calling it a full manicure because I think that there is nothing better than a really beautiful, elegant, simple design. And I love negative space manicures. I especially love them when they're matte because I feel like it just looks super unique. And I just love the way that it looks on all of my nails. So you can always add a little pattern on the blue section, or even if you want to add a pattern over the clear section, that would look super awesome. But don't discount the beautiful, simplistic, minimalistic kind of manicure. But anyway, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which of the five looks is your favorite. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. So bye. Thank you.